in with our Simone Cucurullo. She's joining us live. Erie News Now, Simone Cucurullo. Our Simone Cucurullo live. Our Simone Cucurullo is joining us live. Erie News Now, Simone Cucurullo. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Thank you for joining us here in Erie News Now weekend mornings. I'm Simone Cucurullo. I'm moving on to this morning's top stories. The country waking up with a brand new president. They say his Dodge Caravan was found with the wheels hanging off of the edge. Come take a walk with me. I want to give you a look at an excavator here on site. A group of people will be gathering and walking down the street. And did you know that boxing is actually proven to help you mentally and physically? It's a really windy and snowy one out here this morning, which is definitely making me think about summer, so I'm sure it's on your minds as well. This man, Glenn Tuttle, he's a board member on the Crawford Central School Board. I want to highlight some numbers in a new study that was just put out earlier this week, which means contractors are getting ready to prepare to tear this building down. And I see why his name is Squeeze, because that is definitely a little tight around the neck. <laughs> That means many of you may be waking up and heading over to our Facebook page to check out the story. Penelac crews have just responded to a down telephone pole. Now I'm going to get out of the way and give you guys a live look. This is a massage chair inside an RV. Now this RV going for the cheap cost of $63,000. So if you got that laying around somewhere in your pocket, catch up is exactly the game that Pennsylvania is playing when it comes to texting and driving. They do believe that he is in the water. Of course, Erie News Now will keep you updated on this story. Take a look at this kitchen. This is absolutely crazy. There's a microwave, there's an oven. You've got everything you need really. But when it comes to Jason putting in his beliefs, he says that's something he refrains from on the clock and also online. On a chilly Saturday morning in Erie, Pennsylvania, a small group of students gather inside the halls of Collegiate Academy. Just making the drive code a little bit smoother. But it's not to study for an exam or sit through class lessons. We're building robots and we're having a lot of fun. <laughs> Meet Julia Cicchetti, a junior at Iroquois High School, a self-proclaimed nerd, and to her friends, a robot ninja. Robots are my absolute favorite thing. Julia is just one member of a synchronized team of fellow robot ninjas from area schools preparing for an upcoming robotics competition. This entire program is designed around building robots and then they compete against each other in these competitions all over the United States and all over the world. James Fleming is a mentor to the robotics team at Collegiate, which will be heading to the California University of Pennsylvania to compete with their robot. Meet Delta. The team has been meeting every Saturday to build Delta from scratch. In fact, we've paid a few visits to Collegiate over the past few weeks, watching Delta transform from some scraps of metal to a full-fledged working robot. I am so impressed with these kids. I mean, they, they do it all. They design, they build, they run it. It's, it's their robot, and they should be so incredibly proud of this. So I headed inside of Collegiate Academy to talk with the robotics kids and see how they're feeling with just a few weeks left until the big competition. We're all really happy with our progress. Like, we really feel we can win this time. We hopefully we're going to win this year because we have been working really hard on our robot and our robot is, like, working really, really amazing. Win or lose, the team agrees. Robotics sets you up for success. And the lessons they've learned will last a lifetime. But these are the kids that are going to go out and change the world. That's what this is. This is helping those kids understand their potential and recognizing you're the future. You're going to do great things. And if doing great things makes you a nerd, Julia says that's fine by her. It doesn't matter what other people think. Um, they can call you a nerd, a geek, whatever. You know, I'm, I'm proud to be a nerd if that's the case. If that's what, a, if that, if that's what being a nerd means, I want to be a nerd and everybody should be a nerd then. In Erie, Simone Cucurullo, Erie News Now. Joanne and Josh Fisher are just like any other couple that's young and in love. I knew at first sight that I was going to be marrying her. They met at school, started dating, and soon enough... We got married and uh, she's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. But in 2013, a series of Joanne's severe headaches put their dreams of starting a family on hold. They did like a CAT scan or MRI or whichever and diagnosed me with um, um, GBM, which is stage four brain cancer. You can't have kids. Um, you can't have a normal family life, that's for sure. We had plans to move out. You can't really finance anything. You kind of just 
day to day. But despite the challenges Joanne's brain cancer presented, the two never gave up hope. And four years later, she's cancer free. Luckily, she's been with us for four years and she's gotten to do a lot of things and that's why I want to share her story. Get word out that just because you get a diagnosis or, or you know, somebody says, well, you're terminal, don't stop living life, just go for it. Now Josh and Joanne are working together to help those who may be facing a similar battle using their platform, Team Joanne, to spread the message of hope. We keep up hope and uh, don't give up. Never give up. Something Joanne says would not have been possible without the help of her husband. When we said our vows, to death do us part, you know, for better or for worse, there's, it's a no-brainer now. It's been such a wonderful ride, I wouldn't change it. A ride they plan to stay on till death do they part. In Erie, Simone Cucurullo, Erie News Now. With coverage you can count on, this is Erie News Now Weekend Mornings. Yesterday marked a historic day for the United States as Donald Trump officially became the 45th president of our country. Foreign ministers from over 70 countries arrived in Paris today for a Middle East peace summit. Springfield Township woman is sitting in the Erie County prison charged with homicide after allegedly shooting her own husband. Well, if you are looking to get out and about, maybe get the kids out of the house on this snowy day, you might want to consider heading over to the Children's Museum. Now for the second year, LaFaro Insurance Agency is working with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to help a local child's wish come true. If your best friend had cancer, you'd help him complete his bucket list, of Absolutely, course. Yes. Now imagine that your best friend is a dog. But your news now was first to tell you last week that Harbor Creek Township is donating a big piece of land to state police in hopes that they'll build a new headquarters there. Super Bowl isn't the only thing people are celebrating today. As we discussed, it's National Weatherman's Day. The new boss at GCAC is speaking out for the first time this week. Danny Jones took over as CEO on Wednesday. It sounds like today is the perfect day to take the kids out of the house and head on down to the Bayfront Convention Center. Some Trump supporters spent the day in downtown Erie yesterday to take part in a nationwide rally for the president. Don, we learned to ski, but some folks are learning to fly. We'll tell you about it in our trend segment. It's one of our top trending stories this morning. That's coming up when Erie News Now Weekend Mornings returns.